In 2018 and 2021, the Carlo Ledesma Foundation received a grant from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts to conserve the physical scrapbooks of art patron Purita Carlo Ledesma. We documented the conservation process and interviewed two scholars who discussed the importance of Carlo Ledesma's archives. We spoke with Clarissa Chiquiamco, a curator at the National Gallery Singapore and a PhD student who has relied on the scrapbooks for curatorial and art historical research. Clarissa is also one of the writers who contributed an essay in the book The Life and Times of Purita Kahlo Ledesma. Hi, I'm Clarissa Chiquiampo. Uh, other people in the Philippines know me also as Lisa. Uh, I'm a curator at National Gallery Singapore and also a PhD student at King's College London. What do you think is the significance of the Purita Kahlo Ledesma scrapbooks? I think the scrapbooks are extremely relevant for Philippine art history. And this is because even though um, Philippine artists do have a process which they also develop like their own scrapbooks, you know, they keep archival materials, but these are more often than not, you know, relevant to their particular uh, artistic practice. So, uh, and there's no, library that actually uh, collates actually all these different artist scrapbooks um, that are in that are in the Philippines. So in a way you can say that the, these kind of like art archives are, you know, they're actually quite dispersed. Uh, but the great thing about the Kahlo Ledesma scrapbooks is that they're um, consolidated. Uh, like when Prieto Kahlo Ledesma was making them, she didn't, uh, it didn't seem like she was really editing like to like her own preferences. For example, I mean, anything really that was just art related, she would clip and put in those scrapbooks. Uh, and not even um, just the visual arts, there was, you know, actually, you know, quite a lot of um, film relevant uh, materials that are there as well. And it was like reading through the scrapbooks that I found out that she was actually one of the co-founders of the Saliginto Film Society, which is one of those early kind of um, cine film clubs uh, in the Philippines. Uh, so I definitely for Philippine art materials, you know, these scrapbooks are just um, so important. But also when you look through them, actually it it's not just on um, Philippine artists, but it's also about foreign artists who visit the Philippines as well. So you can also see there is this desire, you know, to connect with other artists uh, from abroad, um, you know, whether that be from Southeast Asia or from other parts of the world. Why is it important to preserve the scrapbooks in both physical and digital forms? I think it's still important to preserve the original because like with digital, it's still, uh, everything is, you know, flattened. You know, I mean, even if you can see like a, a PDF is hundreds of pages, you still don't get that sense of scale versus, you know, seeing the original. And with the original scrapbooks, I mean, they're like, each scrapbook is like humongous. I mean, it's like hundreds of pages just full of so much content. I mean, even just at, uh, just at a glance, you get a sense of like how much um, content um, that there is uh, in each scrapbook. And then you multiply that across, you know, over 80 scrapbooks uh, that the Carlo de Desma Foundation has. Um, and then you really get a sense of the wealth of knowledge that is available in this particular really important uh, resource. For digital, I think primarily it's about um, access. Uh, this way that you know you minimize also uh, people handling the original. And uh, the good thing about having it in digital form is that it's not limited uh, to a single location. So there are those like you know in in the Philippines in Manila, you know they can go to the Kalo Nadesma Foundation and they're able to you know access the digitized scrapbooks there. Uh, but for those also um, in Singapore, like, you know, whether 
uh, they're based here or they're traveling here, I mean, they can also be able to access um, the digitized content of the scrapbooks um, through the National Gallery of Singapore's library and archive. Can you tell us about the physical scrapbook that was borrowed by National Gallery of Singapore? We borrowed uh, one of the physical scrapbooks uh, from the Calo Ledesma Foundation to display at our Rotunda Gallery, uh, in, which is at the heart, actually, of the Southeast Asia Gallery at our Supreme Court building uh, in the National Gallery. And this was present when we opened the museum uh, to the public in November of 2015. And the particular scrapbook that we borrowed contained an important um, exhibition, which was the first uh, Southeast Asia exhibition uh, from 1957 that was held uh, in Manila. Um, so where different artists um, from the region, you know, came to Manila and there was like an exhibition, there was a a conference, there was also a competition. So it showed already this kind of a consciousness of wanting, you know, to come together uh, within the region. And this was before the uh, establishment of ASEAN, you know, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. And we thought it was important to, you know, include the physical scrapbook because with Digital, you know, it's difficult to understand without, you know, seeing some kind of physical form. And at least that that uh, physical scrapbook allows them also to imagine like, okay, there, so there is a digitized copy of this scrapbook that, you know, I can access, but then it's only one of many that's available uh, to other researchers. What are your research interests? And what search techniques did you employ? Can you share your experience while doing research on the scrapbooks? I really do read them. <laughs> if there's a particular topic that's uh, that I'm interested in, you know, I will go through the scrapbooks um, depending on also which period that I'm researching on for like a particular artist or particular artist event. So I'll zone in on you know, certain scrapbooks since it's roughly chronological. I've used the scrapbooks a, a lot you know, throughout my research. I mean, not only for writing um, for the Kalo Ledesma book, but also, yes, there was um, my essay on Zabel, but uh, even, even other research, I will really turn to the Kalo Ledesma Foundation scrapbooks um, across various topics. Um, I'm also currently using it um, for my uh, PhD. So I'm writing my thesis on the moving image um, in Philippine art from the 1960s to the early 2000s. Uh, so it's um, my PhD is proceeding in a bit uh, the, the chapters are roughly chronological, um, starting with the 60s period, um, and I managed to find um, some information there. Um, and I know that the, the digitized version is uh, OCR capable, so that you can also uh, do a search. And then though certain articles which you know, interest me, um, I'll, I'll take note of that um, and return to it if I find it um, relevant you know, for a particular um, essay that I'm writing, for example. Is there a clipping or content from the scrapbook which you consider to be very memorable? There was one time I was like looking through it and there were these cartoons that caught my eye. These were actually cartoons from the 1950s showing, you know, characters with the television. And, you know, the television, I guess, in the 1950s in the Philippines, you know, it was still quite new. And uh, the cartoonist was making that comparison between the quality, I guess, like, you know, how it, with the television screen, with the cathode ray tube televisions, the old school style, it would be made of kind of like these raster lines. And, you know, you'd have to get like a good signal you know, balancing the antenna. So the image can be actually um, quite distorted. And so the cartoonist thought it was humorous um, and to make this kind of comparison of the abstract, the abstract 
image that you see on the television to actually abstract painting. And I, I was very tickled by this cartoon, um, which I saw a few years ago when I was um, looking through the scrapbooks. And I just sort of noted the, uh, the scrapbook number and the page numbers. And I thought, well, I mean, just for future research, I can say that the, the content in the Carol and Desma scrapbooks, they still continuously surprise me. Depending on uh, the certain topic of my research, I will always you know, discover something new, something surprising uh, that's in the scrapbooks. And there's just such a wealth of knowledge.